a very very obscure Miku song. I, I I can't tell without the hair. That's the that's the one. No, thing for real. I need. You couldn't at least give us some pigtails. That's what I'm saying. I'm like we, we need the we need the wig. I mean, if it's Miku, then I'm then I'm all about it. Oh yeah. Let's let's go, Desley. I think it's like I'll shamelessly say it. I like Umbreon, but I like Miku more. I have to agree. You know the ubiquity of uh, Miku, Hatsune Miku. You can't really fight that star power. Yeah, it's Hatsune Miku, dude. It's Hatsune flipping Miku. I'm thinking Miku, frankly. Creator of Minecraft. Frankly. But then again, Steve is her fault. If that's the logic. I'm going to call out every single time that either player is at 39%. Oh, yeah. Specifically because it's a Miku Castle. <laughs> I don't know Umbreon's Pokedex number, so I can't help you there. But You know, Google could. It's it's probably too high that we'd ever see it. You know, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> now so that it's I think about like it. in the 200s, probably. Yeah, she was Johto. She, yeah. might, be, she might be like low hundreds. Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but even then, a rare. It'd have to be high hundreds at the, mm. at the least. Okay. Dampy though, yeah, big damage, and this is what you need against Min Min. You need to get in once and then just... That 0.1% lead. Okay, not for long. <laughs> Keep it going forever. That is the whole design. Yeah, look at the way he's maintaining center stage. I mean, wow, okay. Everybody win. I love that Dambi <laughs> high-profiled the down smash yeah. because he up-smashed him with. One went high, the other went low. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Speaking of going high. Megawatt. <laughs> Was that a dragon hand? Who do you think you are? I am. <laughs> That's what I want to know. I could see Min Min doing that with her arm like down a bowling alley. <laughs> She's the most OP bowler of all time. Absolutely, because the ball is not right back. The pins. There's no such thing as gutter balls. Well, no. Biologically, like those are their arms, right? Yeah. So literally. I guess I guess that would not you wouldn't be able to do that because oh, you go yeah. you go over the line. Oh dear. They do they do warn you about putting your arms in those things. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not risk it, Charlie. <laughs> She's like, I'm not going to go over the bowling line. Then she just armed, like, through the whole, like, bowling ball thing all the way around. <laughs> Knocks them over. The weirdest thing about their lore is that the arm power only activates when they're wearing a mask. So they have normal oh. arms until they do that. The that's, arm thing. Dude, I, part of me loves arms, and part of me knows that's not a good game. <laughs> the silliest thing you've ever heard in your it, life. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's but so Desley cool. playing well. Extraordinarily Enough so. to take the lead. I was about to say even things up. I realized that he actually took the first stock. Yeah, as a matter of fact. Maybe about to take the second as well. And I mean, Dambi, again, he'll he'll play the slower game, right? Where he'll he'll try to figure out your intents. Yeah. He's a. I've talked about this before, but I feel like he fits a lot more into being like a prevention-based player. Oh yeah. Than uh than like an initiator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like my first idea is I want to stop you from doing your things. Yeah. And then after that, I'll activate my things precisely it's like once you have once you have that learned helplessness where you don't think you're going to get away with anything that's what makes it the easiest for him to connect everything he wants mm. that's the, that's like the beauty of also having a very heavy very maneuverable character is it gives you time to observe those things he's, i'm sorry he's, he was at 181 i'm just going to look up umbreon's pokemon at this point we're getting close we have to be i it just it's possible right yeah and i imagine they would put the evolutions like pretty close together with like the last one the last pokedex wow he really evened that up 197 which i think Ooh. is actually the percent he died at post hit. there's no way i think that oh my god we gotta, we gotta check the Clip tape it. <laughs> we gotta check the tape roll it back mid set right now <laughs> i need desley to hit two ram rams Oh, he hit it with the dragon oh. arm! Oh, come on! Devastating. <laughs> I wanted the Miku number so bad. This is why Dambi's gonna win. Oh my god, 92% immediately. Sheesh, that like a Steve combo. Uh, dude, Dambi is, again, like, when he actually oh gets his setups, oh, Desley got a little greedy. Yeah, I mean, would you, wouldn't you have gone for that, the laser at that point? Like, did you just forget you're fighting Yoshi I, I that thought point? that he would have just gone for the, the raw dragon laser, but I guess he knows that... Like risk reward, right? He could have gotten the whole, the whole stock True. if he did both. And the punishment is going to be very, not very severe in that circumstance. So yeah, it's worth it. It's worth mm. it. Maybe he won't double jump. Ooh, oh. Desley had the right Ooh. idea, but he forgot he's playing a character with a terrible crab. The, yeah, we had to put the balance in there somewhere. We mixed that into the ramen at the bottom of the bowl. <laughs> And a, gun. and a gun. <laughs> and a gun. And a gun. The secret ingredient. <laughs> My God. But. If there's anything we know about Yoshi, it's that he can stomach an awful lot. I'm sure a bowl of noodles is no problem, though. You know, here's a theoretical question for you. I'm always I'm here for theories. Would Min Min be a worse or better Joker. character if she had Joker's gun? Now, things to consider, right? Obviously, that'd be busted for her landing. Absolutely. But, but now she only has one arm. And 
Her I think, shield game would be so bad. I posit that she would be worse. I think she would. I posit that she would be, and because you're taking away the special one, you only have the, the dragon. I yeah. think she would be a worse character. She would be infinitely worse. Her I, shield pressure would be non-existent. I don't think that there is <laughs> a, a, a different neutral B that you could give her that would make her a better character. There's like some things, some very select niche situations that would be better. Like I'm sure her ledge trapping would rule. But overall, with her terrible recovery, no good no good speed. And you can't change your arms anymore. Which I was saying because I thought that Dan B was about to hit a sick edge guard, but man, Desley's maneuverability back to the stage, even better. You only ever see that kind of resourcefulness from somebody with a bad recovery. True. That is true. It's humbling. Everybody else is carried. Oh, <laughs> just up me straight to the ledge. <laughs> what you? He doesn't even need to go that far. Yoshi can just jump. Yeah. And he's back. <laughs> I wasn't even talking about Yoshi. I'm just like, man, some people do not have to think. No, exactly. It's a beautiful thing. But also, so hideous. <laughs> it's true. Desley, though, back in. Using, I love that he's using Ram Ram just to reset situations Ooh. where he couldn't get the kill. And once again, asks that fateful question to take the first stock, just like he did in the last game. But not at 191, specifically. Not 97, 97. 197. Yes, yeah. close. OK. Oh, oh, wow, that was so slick. Damn, B. Oh, that was so wow. nice. That he, that he had seen Desley do that like once before, and he was like, I think based on the w the wind and the Coriolis effect in your positioning <laughs> and by my triangulation, you are going to down air and end up here. And so it happens. At that point, it's prognostication. Oh, oh he's dead, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, without the double jump, he's still able to make it back. Yeah. Debbie's crazy. That took a lot of self-control to hold on that ram ram until you saw the air dodge. Giving that two frame is uh, less tempting. Ooh, okay, but a very good up smash. And somehow the lead, like, despite Dombey's extraordinary plays. Yeah, I mean, Desley, again, he got out to the lead. He's gotten a couple of really, really big. I mean, I think what's key is that in this game, too, he's just gotten so much more per hit. Yeah, honestly. Like, you think, like, a Min Min's like a one-two punch kind of character, and you'd be right. That, but well, literally, <laughs> there's yeah. more to it than that. Yeah, she's not exactly chipping away at you the whole match. Like, there's some matchups where she will, but doesn't have to against Yoshi. I mean... Again, and it's and it's on Desley for being able to hit those big combos that he is just continually racking things up. Exactly, but he's been sent off stage, like literally left to right and right to left. Just every time until he dies. And now it is last stock, and this is kind of what we saw in that last game, that Danby was given an opportunity, and then he was able to turn it all the way back into his game. But can he do it again with this even bigger deficit, and also with that dragon arm charged up, which is scary. Oh, yeah. That laser is oh. Oh, devastating. I forgot. I forgot about the. It's the. It's the sheesh laser. You gotta, <laughs> it's a special you gotta give beam it the cannon, respect. in my opinion. Sheesh! Oh my <laughs> god! You literally invoked it. You manifested. <laughs> the fact that he got the kill screen with it too is so satisfying. I feel like Dombey's ledge trapping intuition is about on par with your commentary intuition. A yeah, bit. There are some very scary situations where you just call something so well that you will literally start a song and it'll land it on B. It's crazy. The, the secret. <laughs> the secret is that you just keep trying until you get the clip. And nobody and then, and then, and then People don't remember when you get it wrong, because it's like, oh, you got it wrong. Like, big deal. Of course that happens. Or or you just, here's the here's the real commentary hack for real. You just keep, you just keep saying the smart things that could happen. And if they don't, nobody cares. You said the smart thing. But if it yeah. happens on beat, everybody's like, whoa, oh my god. <laughs> How did you know? It's like, because I said something like 80 times and this is the first time it was effective. It's like I ran a probable equation like <laughs> 2 plus 2 might equal 4. I'm literally just <laughs> rolling a dice constantly. <laughs> and every now and then you get that bat 20. Yeah, exactly. And you have an inherent advantage. Roll with advantage every time. I am afraid of this pick what? by Danby. Yeah, I don't like Danby being this close when I'm fighting him, but in this particular instance I feel like Desley rules this entire stage with one arm. Yeah, like I, I think the idea here is like kind of like the Fox set. It's like, okay, well if I get really aggressive, what does Desley get to do about that, right? If I'm able to... Basically Danby's oh. just wow all over him. And what I was going to say, right, is that he's just kind of on a bigger stage, you've got a bigger margin for error. Yeah. But it's more likely that Desley's going to get a few hits here and there. Here, Danby's just like, all right, I want a very small margin of error for both of us. But if I continue to do well, I'm going to blow you up. And so he has. In this case, it's like every time Desley has had the opportunity to retreat, it was the same as with Fox. He just, like, had more opportunity to keep Danby out. But if you can't get away from Danby, it just doesn't stop. Dash attack, though. Desley's going to get a small punish off of that, but... 
again, this is just one of those games where they compared to that game two, it's a little bit more like that game one where just the damage output has not been as present for Desley oh, and Danby off stage. Yep. No hope for Desley there. That was a perfect read on that mash timing as well. Mm -hmm. Sheesh. Like combined with like, you have to factor in the percent that they're at and their mash, and Dumby at this point has seen it so many times. Mm -hmm. And these grabs, Yoshi's, Yoshi's grab is bad in case I need to remind anybody. Yeah. And he's been landing them like every single time this match. He, I mean, he does get good reward off of it though, and Dumby has been finding that. I mean, he might be about to get a three stock. All of a sudden with Desley looking so commanding in game one and somehow like flubbing it, but then game two looking equally commanding. Sheesh. And this is as much different. Sheesh. Flashback. Oh my goodness. Oh, another forward air. Oh, what can you do? Yep. The classic. Drift off with an air. Yeah, I because he changed up that play style to be so aggressive, 